These kind of days, they don't happen that often where everything just seems to be perfect. The car just feels spot on. You know, you don't really have any big complaints. So that was very enjoyable. There's a lot more to learn for sure. I mean, this is actually everyone. Uh, also today in the race with the tires, like how they are behaving and uh, yeah, for sure, we'll, we'll look into detail, um, you know, what we can try and, and improve. But I also know last year this was a very strong track for us. There will be tracks where probably we will be a bit weaker. And in general, I think over one lap, for sure, it's a lot closer. So um, there will be tracks that maybe you have to start a bit more further back and that compromises your race naturally anyway. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased, pretty happy. You know, I think it's been a, a great result for the team and um, very satisfied with that. There's plenty of, of uh, work that we got to do to improve and hopefully we are able to chip away for Jeddah. Uh, I'm aware that there were some things that were not totally perfect from our side. You know, I was struggling quite a bit with the, with the balance, with the downshifts and the, the engine braking. Uh, I think uh, there is some tidy up to do uh, before Jeddah. So I think it's, it's great, you know, we have a full race distance to, to analyze. Yeah, very happy, uh, you know, when we were at the car lounge, I remember telling you this year I wish I had a car to, to overtake and not to defend. And last year I spent my whole year defending. We arrived to the first race and I am attacking and making overtakes, which, yeah, uh, makes me happy. Uh, it's been a while since I've been on the, on the move, you know. It was impossible to drive properly. Um, we had big problems with the brakes, which we will uh, investigate what happened in order for it to not happen again. This obviously was a big issue, so... Uh, yeah, in the first 10 laps it was impossible. Every lap I was doing I would break uh, three or four meters earlier, but the issue was getting much, much worse every lap. So uh, every time I was basing my feeling on the previous lap, but in the meantime the issue was a lot more, a lot more so I would get there and I would lock up like crazy again. So uh, it felt really bad and then it uh, stabilized, but in a place that was completely out of the proper window. Yeah, it was, um, you know, made a good move on Charles and as he said I thought we're here we go as soon as I got into second I had all these big red alarms coming on my, my steering wheel the engine was overheating and um, turns out we got the, the cooling wrong on, on the engine and um, we had to turn the power down it was costing us half a second a lap we don't quite understand how we got it wrong because uh, we've not experienced that yet and especially so early in the race um, but it, then it was impossible to defend so that was a real shame. I don't. I think the podium may have just been out of reach, but you know, as I said, it, it had a huge knock-on effect, and from that point, we just went backwards. We were the same pace as Mercedes, which is pretty much where we expected to be, and I think we should be happy with that. Um, a little bit off, I say, quite a bit off the Ferraris, and uh, a long way off the Red Bull. But again, that's what we were expecting. So I think it was a difficult day. The car balance was not nice. Uh, I think the wind conditions, as much as they die down and changed to what we thought was going to be favourable, um, I don't really think it ended up that way. So, um, yeah, some things to look into, but I'm, I'm happy with today. Uh, it was tough and I wanted that little bit more, especially to, to George, he was not far ahead. But um, I feel like I got the mo most out of the car today, so I was happy with that. No, it definitely wasn't ideal today, uh, this weekend. Um, we thought we were going to be closer but uh, clearly not. Um, so to be kind of the same, if not, actually probably, I can't remember where we finished last year, I think it was fourth and fifth. I think if I'd qualified better, I think that's probably where we would have finished today, uh, or at least fifth and sixth probably, but yeah, not much more to it. Not a terrible way to start the year. I think we definitely um, had some good moments and bad moments in the race, um, but, yeah, I think we're about where we expected, to be honest. Um, it was, was close between everyone, you know. felt like with, with Lewis and, and with Lando and George, um, you know, even Leclerc at one point, it just felt like we'd catch each other a tenth, lose a tenth, and yeah. So we're close, but not quite close enough to, to really fight. Um, but I'm excited to see what the next few races have got in store for us, because Historically, this place has not been very friendly to us. Um, the next few races have been quite friendly to us, so I'm optimistic. Yeah, I think uh, we were not maybe as fast as yesterday for sure. I think the lab was exceptional yesterday and uh, uh, put us on an unrealistic P6 that uh, it was not our, our real position. But uh, yeah, we, we are the fifth team at the moment, you know, behind McLaren, 
Red Bull, um, Mercedes and Ferrari, more or less as, as we were in Abu Dhabi. So we, we kept uh, as we finished 2023. You know, after a good start, which was uh, annoying, I got, got off the line well, got a couple positions, but then, uh, yeah, thumped from behind, um, back of the pack and uh, climbed back up to 10th score point, which was uh, satisfying for sure. Honestly, I think I'm happy with the progress of the team we was able to make. And uh, yeah, if beginning of this, the weekend, if you tell me we're fighting with the Astons, I think, you know, we are in a good spot. But uh, yeah, clearly the pace is kind of where we are. We really maximize areas in the race and I didn't do any mistake, but just to maintain lungs behind was so difficult. I'm kind of pleased. I mean, it's uh, I'm not over the moon, didn't score any points, but you know, I think we've been we've been telling you guys as well. It seems like we have a car that's a bit better on the tires this year. Not necessarily quicker than last year, but um, at least better on the tires. So I think we showed that today, although it's still only one track. But yeah, we were yeah not quite good enough for, for points today. So to answer your question, not not quite there. Um, I've got an idea though what we can do to be better. Um, so that's obviously. I have some confidence going into next week, but uh, the first two stints were a little, uh, a little painful today. Obviously, heard you on team radio. Disappointed to have to be asked to let Daniel through. Kind of, what's your read of how that all unfolded? Well, in the end, he didn't overtake as well. So, in the end, he just, he just had a clean air and a better pace. And obviously, I was stuck behind Magnus. I was just over, about to overtake. And but anyway, uh, it's first race. Um, Still, still, it's lots of things to understand anyway. Uh, we were not anyway fighting for the points, so yeah, see how it goes. We had alarms all race. We were, we were fighting a lot of issues electronically, um, as well as the car overheating. So um, we couldn't stay close to other cars in front of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, very frustrating and disappointing. Um, <laughs> very similar scenario to last year in turn four. Yeah, uh, just uh, yeah, just bad. Um, on the positive side, though, the race pace and the deck uh, looked looked pretty reasonable. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think it's been very similar, you know, between quality and race. But you know, I'm looking forward to be checking the data. I think that's the, the exercise that we uh, needed to do today: uh, check the data uh, compared to other cars with different compounds and see, you know, what's the difference between race and quality with with the other cars. Um, all in all, you know, it's been a, a difficult weekend. But I think Jeddah should suit our car a little bit better. Um, and I hope that we are going to be closer to the pack uh, than we were this weekend. Pretty much what we expected. So, um, and in terms of car potential, we maxed maxed out everything we we had. Uh, we knew it would be tough to to battle. It was not our day. On top of that, I had an amazing start, but then I got uh, kind of into the mess with uh, land spinning and kind of like everyone uh, bunching up into turn one, so uh, didn't benefit from the, the great starts. I mean, yeah, obviously there was um, an issue with the wheel nut, something to something to investigate, make sure um, yeah, it doesn't doesn't happen again. I think that's the main take for me from today, but and also, yeah, I'm lucky with the turn one incident, had a bit of damage in the, in the front wing, so clearly not my day, but hopefully that's bad luck for the year done. Uh, yeah, it was just Frustrating happened yesterday in quality, happened again today. Um, so obviously need to figure out the, the core cause for it because it wasn't fixed. Um, I think more just frustrated, had a good first lap, had a good opening stint. Um, felt like it was coming to me. Um, struggling with PU time, so I couldn't stay close to the cars ahead. So it was just a bit of a unfortunate disaster.